Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to another powerful, powerful fellowship on Sunrise and Sunset. I am Bob Cordell. Glad you're able to join us. And today, on this powerful sunset, this unwinding, this time to wind down towards a relaxation and a and a rest. And um, you know, I was thinking about this difference. Let's talk about it. Survival versus living. Now, does that have to be versus? No. Yet for the sake of fellowship, survival, living. So with survival, I, I, I feel that survival, starting with the interior aspect, is no different than drowning. You're, 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 you're doing your best to to keep your head above water, right? Yet you feel so heavy like you're sinking. So you're doing what you have to do to do the best you can to keep your head above water and you don't know how to swim. When we look at survival and we look at having to do things because we have to, as opposed to because we want to. If we look at circumstances, if we look at situations that brings about a level of imbalance, stress, not clear of your state of intelligence, your creativity, the power that you have to manifest and to bring forth what you want and to be absolutely clear of that and be in the driver's seat proactively, not reactively, proactively. Sounds good, sounds great. I know I use a lot of words and a lot of terms. Yet when we, when we look at survival, and I definitely welcome you to give your take on that, it can have so many different meanings from so many different angles and so many different enclaves of life. You know, doing things that may not bring fulfillment, or you do things that you thought would bring fulfillment and it didn't and you can't get your time back and you're not sure how to shift so there's a there's a plethora of things to look at survival when we look at our basic needs of life and living how to obtain them the state of your mind your psychology your mentality, a state of alignment within, your peace. And all of these things reflect upon the relationship with yourself and all things that you feel is a part of your, your lifeline and your foundation, spiritually, religiously, communally. It affects so many things. It affects your bones, your joints, your organs. Survival can be defined in so many different ways. Yet let's look at living. Let's look at living. Life and living. To me, that is an aspect of having a true, factual sense of who you are, your purposes. You are clear of your level of studiousness, the things that you want to have, as far as things that affect your life internally, it deals with your health, your happiness, overstanding your purposes, your alignment. Mm. The smile on your face. Because based upon what you enjoy doing, how you enjoy breathing this beautiful breath of life, how you can actually attain those resources, utilizing your skills or you obtaining those skills that you're highly purely interested in because it's a part of complementing who you are and not just something that you're doing or it has to be an acquired taste to do it. So it's still a little bit forced because of circumstances. No, it's because you are clear walking through the door 
of your mind, your thoughts, your decisions, and your actions. We're talking about fulfillment. We're talking about a, a, a sense of bliss, a sense of joy. How you relate to yourself, how you relate to others. You know, feeling a sense that life on this, as I look at it as a circle with so many dots that's upon it, even the dots you don't realize that are there, you have a pure, genuine, sincere approach of a great heart, a great want, great determination. You feel fully favored of life. There's a calmness. There's a peacefulness. Your realities are in check. The spirit in which you idealistically gravitate towards the oneness of your walk is within it. I mean, there are so many facets to living and being fulfilled with life. You start to manifest things. You start to obtain the resources with fulfillment, with embracement. There's a difference between asking anybody in any occupation or in business or as a merchant or as a tradesperson about what they do, what they want to do. And if they say anything besides, I love it. Think about it. I love it. So therefore, the hours that you put in, it's not it's not in vain. The food. Oh, man, you approach, you know, like, for example, when I get fresh seasonal watermelon with the black seeds in it out of Georgia or I get those wonderful, juicy, fresh peaches or oh, I love my green coconuts from Florida. Or I get my beautiful, beautiful, as fresh as can be sea moss. Whatever the plethora of foods, the, the air, it's just, it's just a full scope of joy and welcoming that not only the thought, the smell, the taste, each bite, each indulgence, it's beautiful. The attitude towards having certain conversations, everything is beautiful. Your rest, your sleep, they're in sync. You're not just laying down for a bunch of hours and restless. No, you're actually getting rest. Ah, your organs are regenerating. The nights are incredibly great and awakening to a wonderful rise is even greater. So looking at living can be so many different angular things that arouse the senses and also your taste buds of life. So when we look at survival, there's usually a connotation of so many things that's detrimental to our health that's associated with it. And it catches up to us. Even if we, you know, choose to adopt and adapt to these things. Yeah, you may enjoy 70 percent, 80 percent, yet it's not a full hundred percent. Yet, when we look at the aspects of living. Oh, it's just so sweet. It's a beautiful thing. So to be on the journey of living, some may know survival. You may come from survival. And then a piece of that does not, you know, eliminate the levels of appreciations. Because time, history, and so many other factors have contributed to circumstances. Yet when you choose to live, you can dissect things and put things in their proper perspectives from those survival, extract the energy, the wisdom, the lessons, and you can now apply it to living, move forward in a greater way. I mean, it just, oh, you just breathe that breath of life. So wonderfully great. You just, oh. I had to shimmy on that one, right? That's authentically and sincerely, that's how it feels. So being on that journey, being proactive on that journey, 
you know, allowing the levels of your intelligence to meet your nature, your true nature, and to also be in sync with your spirit. Oh, we're talking about living. We're talking about living, life and living. So looking at survival, looking at living, I encourage you to allow this, these two incredible titans of life Become curious about it. Dissect it for yourself. Write it down, make a list. Hmm, what do I declare to be survival? What do I declare to be living? Does it have to be a distant dream? No. Or yes. It's up to you. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thank you once again for a wonderful, wonderful fellowship. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. With that being shared, thank you for joining us on Sunrise and Sunsets. I am Baba Cordell. As always, stay in gratitude.